The heartbreaking school shooting in Parkland, Florida left 17 people dead, left journalists as saddened and numb as the rest of the country, and quickly turned into a debate about President Trump and the lack of government action. Our entire nation, with one heavy heart, is praying for the victims and their families. It is not enough to simply take actions that make us feel like we are making a difference. We have all of the resources in the world, and we can't figure out why this happens in our country and doesn't happen everywhere else. Forget your political arguments. Why can't we come together as a society and say, no, we're going to study this, we're going to research this, we're going to bring our best and brightest together, put them all in a room, give them funds and give them whatever they need to figure out why are our children killing each other more in the United States than anywhere else in the world. An emotional debate to be sure. Joining us now to analyze the coverage in Houston, Kristen Tate, a columnist for The Hill. And in New York, Kathy Aru, publisher of Catalina Magazine and a former Washington Post magazine editor. Kristen, after the president gave that speech that we just highlighted, CNN commentator Joan Walsh tweeted this, sociopath who can't even manage to mirror real human concern, compassion, or grief. That speech, my God. Your thoughts on those kinds of comments against the president? Unbelievable. The media coverage of the shooting and of Donald Trump's speech the following day is deeply disappointing. Uh, before we knew all the facts about the shooter, including how he got his gun, before we had a chance to pay our respect to the families who lost loved ones, before the bodies were even cold, the media used this tragic event to flagrantly push politics. Journalists deep hatred of Donald Trump and guns took priority of diligent reporting, and the end result was coverage that was flagrantly partisan irresponsible and sometimes not even factually correct. Nope. CNN's Brooke Baldwin was demanding a discussion about guns just moments into their live coverage. It's no surprise that only 32 percent of Americans trust the media today, Howie. All right. All right. Well, I would just add that there have been some good reporting on the ground of what happened in Florida. Kathy, I get that the president didn't mention guns, and it's fair to criticize the speech for offering prayers and condolences, but no specifics. But that kind of right. attack that I just quoted, and it's come up before after the Las Vegas massacre, uh, after the hurricanes, president not showing enough empathy, according to his media critics. Your take? Well, yeah, but he didn't. He was opportunistic in that speech. So he did take advantage of the situation by, he mentioned guns, he mentioned guns once, the word gun once, but he was opportunistic in saying that it was okay, a mental health Okay, hold on, issue. let me stop you there. Instead of critiquing yeah. the speech, tell me what you think of the media's coverage of the speech, of his response, and of this gun control debate. Well, the media coverage was fine and then immediately went partisan when the president did give the speech. So he kind of opened it up to the discussion of gun control versus mental illness. So the president led the way into this partisan approach that the media jumped on. So the media has been partisan, but that we see that. We see that in these cases. So it's not just during this administration. We do see that it's a gun uh, control issue versus no guns, people not trusting the government, people not trusting the media. And in this case, I think the president let it all off by mentioning mental illness before mentioning anything about gun control in his speech. Well, so he but he didn't, the there was nothing blatantly political in the speech. It was sort of by omission to his critics that he didn't mention guns. All right, let me hold up this New York Post cover. Let's put it on the screen. This is a conservative pro Trump newspaper. Mr. President, please act. We need some sensible gun control. So, Kristen, um, I think it's fair to have some debate, some discussion when this was done with an AR-15 assault-style rifle and majority of Americans support some modest gun changes. Um, but are journalists and commentators going from there to sort of blame Republicans and others who say gun control is not the answer? Oh, it's very clear what's happening. This is being used as a political opportunity to demonize Trump, guns, gun owners, and the NRA. The narrative on the left seems to be that somehow Trump and the GOP are complicit in the mass murder of our school children. Of course it's okay to have debates about gun control. The problem is when you start doing that before we know all of the facts, and when the, the hard news coverage becomes bias. It's a sad day in America, Howie, when we can't trust our news outlets to be factual and nonpartisan in the coverage of a major mass shooting. We deserve to, to expect and demand better from our reporters. I mean, every outlet nearly, besides Fox News, had some sort of partisan spin in their hard 
coverage of the event. And, and you know, while the media is focused well, on politics, the rest of us here in America are trying to pick up the pieces of this horrible event and having a discussion about how we can make our schools safer moving forward, politics aside. Right, let me jump in. Uh, you know, there were political views expressed on Fox News as well. They may be some views that you are more likely to agree with. Uh, but Kathy, you know, President Obama in eight years couldn't get any gun control measures through. It's just a subject on which uh, Washington seems paralyzed. So your thought on the media, uh, you know, is it politicization, as, as Kristen and others suggest, to say, hey, we need to have a gun control debate here after the school shooting a half dozen years after Newtown, Connecticut? Or is it um, demanding a substantive discussion of an important issue? Right. The media cover the facts. The media is presenting the facts. The media is allowing the public, the viewers, the listeners of their um, outlets to make their choices. So they have laid out the facts and now the opinions are coming out. So this is what the media does. They lay out all of the facts and it's up to then the, the public to dissect them, understand them and form their own opinions. And the president did overturn Obama's uh, decision to take away the rights for the mentally ill to get such quick access to guns and that was in 2017 and the media covered it there wasn't much of a hoopla now we're hearing a lot about it right. the president brought up mental illness right. during his speech so it was perfect timing for this issue to come about All so right, the gotta, media is pointing gotta, out the hypocrisy here gotta wrap it up here Kristen Tate Kathy Aru thanks very much for joining us